Six ans et demi après le meurtre de Michael Hart, retrouvé mort le 10 janvier 2011 dans la chambre 1025 de l'ex Legends Hotel à Grand Gobe, lors de son voyage de noces, son ex-mari John McAravey est de retour à Maurice pour relancer l'enquête. C'était mardi 4 avril 2017 à l'hôtel Laboudonné à Port-Louis. Nous vous proposons l'essentiel de cette conférence de presse. Trial or the subsequent new police investigation. However, in August 2016, we received a letter from the DPP which advised us that they had subsequently returned the case file to the police. Shortly after we received this letter, we took the decision as a family to travel to Mauritius in 2017 to hold meetings with the police, the DPP and your Prime Minister and to launch a public appeal for information, for fresh and compelling new information that can allow for a retrial. In response, the Prime Minister gave us a personal commitment and powerful reassurance that he would do everything within his power to ensure that justice is served. So far, we have not yet been able to meet with the Commissioner of the Police, but we hope that perhaps at some stage later today or tomorrow before we travel back home to Ireland that this could be arranged. On the appeal, the police have given us assurances that if there is anyone who has information but is perhaps worried about coming forward, they will be given police protection. Information can be provided several different ways. To the police on the normal confidential hotline which is operated in Mauritius, the number 148, or by contacting Assistant Superintendent Sibaluk at Central CID on telephone number 208-122. Alternatively, if anyone would prefer not to speak directly to the police at this time, information can be provided to Mr. Krishna Mogru on my left, an independent third party whose services we have retained as part of this appeal process. His contact telephone number, as with all the contact telephone numbers, will be provided at the end of this session. You can also write to Mr. Mongru and again, details of his postal address are included in the statement at the end. As a symbol of our determination to achieve justice, and to the extent that any of the information which we receive as part of this appeal leads to the successful conviction of the people responsible for Michaela's death, we are offering a reward of two million rupees. Myself, Claire, and Mark will be back in Mauritius, that of which we are certain. We have the determination, the energy, the resources to be here for as long as it takes repeatedly as many times as we require. We have no problem in being Mauritius next week, next month, next year, in the next 10 years. We simply will not relent until the people responsible for Michaela's brutal murder 
our serve justice. But I think it has reached uh, a moment where there must be a positive reaction. Because honestly, we, I personally believe as a barrister of a family, of the two families, that it would seem that the inquiry was at a standstill and something had to be done. And this is what Mr. Macari became, came out with, and it is, I think, a really good idea.